the Space Station 14, there are some reagents or chemicals in the game that actually do damage upon reacting to a target's body. Regardless if they are armored, fully clothed, or naked, it will still do the same applications. However, Space Station 14 is consistently inconsistent, and the purpose of this video is to explain the differences between how this on-touch property actually works. There are a few chemicals or reagents in the game that actually do on-touch damage. There's Razorium, which is reflective and is like this white-ish color, and then there's Polyacid, which is strong smelling, and it's red. These are both really not that difficult to make, especially if you're a chemist. You can make Razorium by complete accident very easily. Uh, you may also see these chemicals appear elsewhere, such as like liquid anomalies, artifacts. So I will splash a person wearing plain clothes with 20 units of each, and we're going to examine their damage. So hit them with 20 units of Resorium, and then hit them with 20 units of the Acid. Examine their health, and we'll notice they actually took the same amount of damage. They are passively healing it. Well, that's kind of weird. Um, the reason for this is, is that the damage types on the Reagent page actually are for ingestion, if I believe. But you're splashing it on them physically, so they're not ingesting it. So it doesn't do that much, uh, so it, the damages are actually equal, and the damages are somewhat hidden. But either way, 20 units of a re these reagents does 10 damage, so that means one unit does half a point of slash or half a point of caustic, depending on its application. Fire extinguishers shoot out a puff of the reagent. This is a fire extinguisher filled to the brim with resorium. And instead of using 20 units per... Uh, spray it a fire extinguisher actually only uses 9.99 units of a reagent However, if I spray someone ignore the screams of the damned if I spray someone point blank Weirdly enough, we notice the damage is the same as if sp I've splashed 10 20 units on them So we are essentially doubling our damage for the same amount of units total. So I Don't really know why that is. That's just how it works. Our spray bottles are basically identical as fire extinguishers So don't really bother with them. Uh, I mean just really use whichever one you get your hand on I suppose is the correct answer. If you ever get your hands on a mega spray bottle things aren't too much different here Mega spray bottles always spray 15 units, but which but it has a massive AoE So like it's easier to hit multiple people with it and it does 15 damage so for whatever reason it seems like the damage is one to one with the amount of units when you spray it, but not when you splash it. Um, maybe that's intentional, maybe it's not. Again, I don't know. So, just to keep up with consistency, um, these two officers down here have security hard suits. This one has Eternals, and this one has oxygen turned on, and this one does not have oxygen turned on. So, if I spray them with the Resorium, you can hear that it still affects them, but the damage is reduced by 40% due to the fact that their armor is reducing by 40% and their helmet's reducing by an additional amount. Even though this guy's breathing, it will still do the same damage. So you have to consider damage modifiers when you're applying these damages. Also, most hard suits also have caustic resistance, so really you're just kind of picking your poison. Security hard suits specifically would take more caustic damage because, well, I mean, it's just reduced by less and the helmet reduces less. Also, caustic in general is harder to heal. You can't really heal it on your own, so... Something worth considering if you're trying to make both of these, but Resorium's a lot easier to make than the Poly Acid. So I have made a 50 unit Resorium smoke grenade. You could put more Resorium in here and have less smoke if you want more damage in a smaller area. We're going to notice that people who aren't breathing are going to die, where the person who is breathing is only going to take the minor contact damage. But even then, the amount of contact damage is not consistent with the amount of, like, getting sprayed. Again, I have no damn idea how this works. But anyways... We're going to drop the Resorium Grenade and we're going to notice something. They're going to scream from the contact and they're also going to ingest it because of the smoke. Except the guy who has oxygen turned on. Don't want this to touch me. Yeah, enjoy the screams of the damned. And uh, it looks like I fucked up and forgot to turn on this guy's oxygen. I need to redo that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Here we go, this actually helps prove I know what I'm talking about. Now that this guy has his internals on, he's only going to take a minor amount of damage in the Resorium, where previously you saw that it actually crit everyone who was standing in it for long enough. There we go, the two have fallen, and the guy with his internals on has barely taken any damage. So... I still somewhat know what's going on here, but I don't know how the code really works for it. 
the way smoke works in foam is that it spreads out the reagents like somewhat equally through it so like i know there's not a ton of resorium actually contacting this guy's body is why the damage is low but i can't tell you why splashing somebody with it versus spraying somebody with it has a different effect maybe splashing just inherently only applies half the reagents implying that you waste half of them so maybe maybe there actually is some more uh, consistency to this game than I am giving it credit. But either way, this helps clear up how to use these uh, in their own like effective ways. And just for fun, there actually is no dual wielding cooldown on these fire extinguishers, so you can just spray them and keep swapping hands to get real pretty decent DPS. So. But as you can see, there's a new interesting property where the damage is actually ends up getting split among all the people getting hit. So the damage isn't incredibly high. So like that was a ton of sprays, but this guy was off on his own. So he wasn't taking that much damage. But if I spray him directly, you can see that he ended up actually taking the extra damage. Of course, upon doing further investigation of how these chemicals work, um, I don't know if this is intended or not. That's why I'm putting it at the end of the video. So when I did spray test earlier, the damage was like pretty low, it was like in the tens. And I'll just reshow it again. So if I scan them and I stand, I'll just be two tiles away and spray them. It does the 10 damage. But if you get a little bit closer, 10 damage. Now let me refresh their health. This is with poly acid, by the way. But get in their hitbox like this. It does 30? There is a specific hitbox where you only do 20. So th there's the 20. And just to show you how crazy this can actually get, put 100 fresh poly acid in there. If you get inside somebody's hitbox and spam click pretty fast, you can practically insta-kill someone. That was four clicks and uh, I only used 40 percent or 40 uh, units of acid because it did the 30 damage four times. If you click too fast, it won't do the 30 damage, it'll do like 10 or 20 and still use just as much. Um, this is Resorium, and Resorium does the same thing. So if I stand far away, 10 damage. If I get into their like immediate hitbox, 20 damage. And of course, if I get all the way in their hitbox, it also does 30 damage. So I truthfully don't know what the hell is going on <laughs> with it. But, um, yeah, that maxes out your bleed stacks instantly with one burst of Resorium. So, even to a sec officer, you would still end up doing 15 or so slash with a spray of point blank if they're in a hard suit. So, which is still almost max bleeding. So, uh, yeah, like, this person's in trouble from one click. And that's only one-tenth of my fire extinguisher. Uh, funnily enough, though, with water guns, uh, don't have that issue at all. Stand in their hitbox, stand away from it does just five damage same with resorium so not entirely sure what's going on with that and i figured also while i'm here it's just i'm testing this one live uh i don't know how a mega spray bottle works i thought it used to just do 15 but maybe if i stand directly in a hitbox i can make it do 45 and after that's the case this is one of the best weapons in the entire game oops i managed to make it to 30 so still pretty good it's like cost effective yeah, I don't know if you can actually get a direct hitbox hit like you can with the um, fire extinguisher because you can't click on their sprite because it tries to force feed them. Like, maybe if I click as close as possible. Oh, yep, if you click as close as possible, which good luck doing that in a real test, you can triple the damage of the mega spray as well. Anyways, thank you for watching.